on Jimmy Carter. Okay. All right, so count us when you want us to really pay you some attention or pay ourselves. All right. You're, you're ready to go. All right. Ding, 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 ding. That was no reason to. <laughs> Why would you start off the podcast? <laughs> I'm well, showing just, you my picture of Bo Jackson let me in my just, shorts. Let me just say for the record, uh, <laughs> and I'm not listen. listen I, Bo knows. And no, let me I know. Just say this. I know Bo knows. Okay. But first of all, let's tell every. Let's just welcome everybody first. Oh, hey, because welcome you just, everybody. I'm sorry. I thought you, that'd be a great way. I just got attacked by a picture of Bo Jackson, <laughs> Bo Jackson in, in, in biking shorts. shorts. It was for a good cause. Listen, so it's all good. why don't you explain and tell everybody what? Okay, this is why this. I have to look at Bo Jackson. Listen, I thought it'd be an honor and a privilege for you. It is a well, okay. Well, you know, when I'm not somewhere making people laugh hysterically, I run a nonprofit for foundation for professional football player extraordinaire D'Amico Ryan's, who's now Philadelphia Eagles linebacker. And so this weekend, we participated in Bo Bikes Bama, where Bo Jackson biked across the state of Alabama to raise one million dollars for tornado victims relief because this was the year anniversary oh, of the tornadoes okay. in Alabama, which that. is my hometown. Um, so uh, we participated and so I took lots of pictures and so it was Ken Griffey Jr. and Peekaboo Street and they were like so cool and I thought wow how did I end up here hanging out with like people so much richer and cooler than me but it happened so that's super cool can I see some more pictures yeah and but let me Who say this Peekaboo? I'm sorry. Peekaboo Street she's like an Olympic skier well, oh. was you know it might be before your time which it wasn't because you're just as old as me um, I'm not I'm not for the record yeah, but I mean, listen, let me say this about <laughs> Bo, Bo Jackson. I showed her another picture. Let me say this about Bo Jackson. He he rode all four days. They, they chopped it up into four days. We just did the finish line. And um, D'Amico did 30 miles on the bike. And he's never ridden a bike like that before. Real cycling bike with the little thin wheels and gears. Oh, wow. and I'm super proud of him. And hopefully he'll be able to go to work on Monday and not hate me. But um, it was just amazing. You had people of different, you know, athletic ability and old people and young people. And, you know, it was great because sometimes if somebody was kind of falling towards the back of the group, somebody else on the bike would kind of put the hand on their back oh, and push them nice. along. And it was just really cool. It made me think that I wanted to start biking. And then I remember, oh, of course I don't. Uh, but it was inspirational. I'm going to start these, doing something. These pictures, for the record, are very inspirational. Aren't they? Aren't they, they are. great? I mean, and so that's what I did all day yesterday. And um, I, I'm inspired to do something great. But we did raise a lot of money. The governor was there. The mayor was there. So this was uh, a big deal. Yeah, it was really cool. So I was, was glad we were deal. able to participate. <laughs> for more information, go to D'Amico Ryan's Foundation. Shout out. That's the day job. Shout out. Keeps the lights on. Um, right. And you know what? What else? What I was going to say. Mia, what did you do? What did I do? So, this past weekend, I went off to the mountains of Tennessee. Oh, nice. For a little R&R. &R a little time with Smokey? With the man. Okay. And, um, the oh, man. Wait. When, when, well, 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 we'll just, wait. well, we don't, we don't have to tell the people his name, but everybody <laughs> I don't knows his name, I'm just saying well, that you called him the man. The man, the man. Is he the man or my? My man. The boo. Oh! The boo. Did I miss something? Hold on. So, here's the thing. so we're we're both very tall. So you okay. know we're he's six five, I'm six feet, mm -hmm. and um, we go to this somewhere in the middle of Tennessee, Fairglade, no Fairfield Glade, Tennessee. Let me just so people know. Okay. And um, we're there, and we go to Walmart, and everywhere we go, I think people are thinking that we're famous, right? Obviously, because we're why tall would you and not black, be right? Yeah, because we're tall and black, so everybody's right. like, so I'm like, we got to actually capitalize. kind of out of line for not being famous. I don't want to point that out, but uh, you probably should be. But I go ahead, should be. We'll, okay, we'll we're, we'll we're, we're working on it. That's okay. why we got this podcast. Oh, that's right. That's what we're doing. That's now. what we're doing. <laughs> Okay. okay, so you're I'm in the Walmart. I'm trying to be kidding. You're in the Walmart. You're in the Walmart. That hurt me just then. What? Did you know that? No, do because I want us to stay focused. We oh, seem to have okay. both can't have so it's just okay. Plan. okay, we're focused. Okay. Oh yeah, shout out to our producer. To Jamie. our producer Jay. We just we just have we have a producer as of today. And I think he didn't have anything else to do. I think he I already think, ate lunch. So I he think, was like, Yeah. I think he's like, I'll just and it was Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Even though you probably didn't want credit for this right now. Probably at all. Okay, but go ahead. You're in the Walmart so in, in Walmart, Tennessee. Yeah, in focus. Tennessee. And so we're ordering food. Some man uh -huh. just walks up and he's like, hey. He's uh -huh. like, do you know Earl? And we said, no. <laughs> and okay. I'm thinking Earl at this point has to be the only black person in this town. That's ever been to Tennessee. That's ever been to Tennessee. And they're like, you know Earl? We're like, no, we don't know. Earl, they go, well, Earl, 6'8". And I'm like, okay, well, he probably thinks we know or Earl. are related to him. right yeah. but he tells all of Earl's business which I'm about to tell right now he's, okay, like Earl just, he's like Earl just had a stroke and he's like I was babysitting Earl I was at his house oh, and, wow. and and I found out later that Earl was like the first black 
person to be in the NBA. Really? Yeah. So then we go to this barbecue joint. And then when we're leaving, they're like, you're not from around here, are you? And I was like, no, we're not. And they go, well, do you know Earl? And we go, funny <laughs> that you mentioned that. We just heard about We him. just heard that Earl had a stroke. And, and so now you're like passing so gossiping about <laughs> the man. Earl. You know, Earl had a stroke. But no, I don't know him. I don't know Earl. But <laughs> they're like, oh, okay. So they start telling us all these stories about Earl. And they're like, well, you know, Earl... Was he was around, you know, during uh, segregation, playing basketball, oh. and, and then they um, go, well, if you want to meet Earl officially, he picks up his mail every day between ten thirty and eleven thirty down there at the mall. Well, he used to before the stroke. Before the stroke, I'm like Earl's not going so now today. You know that you can help him. You can go pick up his right. mail. Mm. But I don't want to be involved in his life. Which like I think that. you might need to meet Earl. I looked him up. Earl has a Wikipedia page. He was born in, he's 82 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so. now you do know Earl. So the next time you go back to that town, I was like, you know, I do know Earl. I do know Earl because I know a lot about him. And then they were like, oh, we were like, yeah, we met his neighbor. And they were like, oh, Don? I don't know. That. <laughs> we just met the man. Oh, but that's walk. sweet. It's a it's small very, town. Very, and, yeah. That everybody knows. And each uh, other. everybody knows the one black person there. The one black person. That's so. actually endearing. A little bit, little little bit racist. Little, little, little scary, little, little scary, but, but kind of sweet. Or, oh, and let me say this too. Uh, we went to like the next town over mm -hmm. to go to see Think Like a Man. Oh, you went and saw I that? I went and saw it. I was not in it. I was very perturbed. I was I was watching that scene. I was uh, like, we'll, I was we'll sitting there like this. We'll talk about that in okay, a we'll second. Okay, we'll that. come back to but that. But we're going to see Think Like a Man. And when I go to the um, theater, um, the boo is inside of the theater. So he doesn't know this is going on. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to order some popcorn. And I know he likes sour candy. So I'm going to buy him some sour candy. And so I'm like, oh, I see Sour Patch Kids. And then the guy goes, what, what flavors do you have? And the guy goes, well, we have regular and we have watermelon. Would you like watermelon? Oh, you know what? What is that with that watermelon? Watermelon. Thing? Somebody, I don't even like watermelon at all. You know what? I was on a date with someone who I'll never see again. But I asked the <gasps> Was server, this from the other? Girl, yes. I hadn't even had a chance to tell you that story yet. <laughs> okay. And so I said, hey, I wanted to get a cocktail. And I asked the server, I was like, well, what would you recommend? And he said, oh, we have a wonderful watermelon martini. And I said, well, why are you going to offer me the watermelon? Why? martini just because I'm black. He was like, no, it's a, I said, no, but that's what that's I wanted. Weird. That's what I wanted. <laughs> but it was delicious. Because sometimes it is a yeah, drink form. I was, I let me say this for the record. Fried chicken, grape <laughs> soda, and watermelon as a black person are staples in my diet. Now, I don't know if that's a stereotype or if it's called the true fruit. Yeah. Have you wanted to yeah. say it? But, I just, but you don't like watermelon? Okay. I'm not a fan. Mainly so back to the I watermelon sour patch. But, you, but when I was looking you at the guy. We talked about watermelon we, I think we did. <laughs> this is a theme. But, but, but so this lets you know that this is a real issue You're amongst right. Uh, people Mia doesn't like watermelon. Please don't send watermelon. But 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 the guy said it with such confidence though. Like, so do you want? Right. Water? And I was like, no. I said no. I don't want watermelon. I was in fact, give me something else altogether. Wow. Give me nachos. Because he offended you. Give me nachos. Uh, offering you watermelon. Right. And I was like, give me the caramel popcorn. I don't want. Okay, but you knew. But some, wait, but when you went in this movie theater in this small town, you knew you were still black, right? I knew that, but I was the next town over, and I and looked. Don't up, you, wouldn't you appreciate? <laughs> see, this is how I look at it. Because see, I don't okay. get offended. I think, wow. He saw me and he wanted to actually. He wanted to connect. He wanted to connect he to me. To and he connect. thought, you know what? She's black. She likes watermelon. I'm going to let her know we have that and stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's racist. Maybe not. Maybe not. But it, there were only four black people in the theater. And, and for any white people that may have slipped up and clicked this link and they're listening to us, um, <laughs> the way she knows there were four black people is because <laughs> as black people, we take an immediate census into any room we come into because we know who either has our back or who to run from and something starts popping off. <laughs> but when I say that there were four black people, we were the only people in the theater, period, is what I'm saying. So oh. it, was, it was very easy to take. Oh, okay. Because you, were seeing, but, but, oh, yeah. you were seeing kind of a black film. Yeah, and there was no, there was nobody else in the theater. Oh, okay. We were in there by ourselves. So let's talk about this film right quick. Think Like a Man. Think Like a Man. Okay, now when I moved to Atlanta, man, almost six months ago, about six months ago, it was the first movie that I ever did. And by did, I mean was an extra <laughs> in. Okay, and so <laughs> this one particular scene I'm in, and I totally overacted my non-speaking role. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I was super excited for this movie to come out because I said, when this movie comes out, buddy, you know, this is the start this of something big. I've told everybody this is the film they will show when they have my Oscar special before they will star. This was her first film. I mean, I'm on a late night talk show. I'm ready. Show this hey, clip. let's show this clip. Yeah. Oh, that's you overacting your non speaking part. And so I go to see the movie and I wasn't in it. And that actually is the, the end of that story. 
But I was perturbed because I, I mean, I went when I saw that scene. I was like, "Right, here we go." Here and we you know go, what? You go. knew the scene that I told you I was yeah. in. And so when I'm sitting there, it makes you realize how much they do to make a movie that never sees the light of day. Because right. the the part I was in was a studio audience, and then pe- people are asking questions, and Steve Harvey's answering the questions. So I'm thinking, "Wow, they have us all here. They have cameras, lights. The directors yeah. here. This is going to be producers here. Yeah. It was actually the only scene they shot in Atlanta of the whole movie. Oh, really? Okay. And then when the movie comes out. This scene is just on the other main characters' TV screens. Like that's all you see. Yeah, it's I not even like in the her. city. Yeah. So anyway, but did you like the movie? I did like it. Yeah, it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. I thought Gary was really funny. I it. thought so too. Shout out to Gary Owen. Yeah. A close personal nun friend of mine. <laughs> oh, way. You know what? What's this way? What was saying about meeting people <laughs> and being like really close to them and not actually knowing them? And oh, Gary Owen is is I would like actually you to number tell one the story. on the list. I'd like for you to tell you know what? The story. I'm gonna tell the story. Is, I'm gonna tell my Gary Owen story. That's why I want you to hear this because I'm entertained by it. I well, mean, well, it, it, this but, story has a lot of layers. But to can it. but can I just say for the record, like when we've talked about people that you've met, I'm like, oh, well, how do you know them? You're like, well, well, I don't. It's always <laughs> I have, my my so. family and friends actually call me Forrest Gump because they say somehow you are involved and know everybody. And I really, I, I don't, but I do. So uh, Gary Owen, um, uh, Gary Owen, great fan, comedian, great comedian very funny guy. And um, I met him actually originally at the Stardome in Birmingham. And I went up to him after seeing his show and I introduced myself. Hi, my name's Eunice. I'm a comedian. You were great. He's like, wow, I've never met anybody named Eunice. And I was like, wow, you never hung out with any of your grandma's friends? Okay, cool. <laughs> A few minutes later, we're outside, and I'm talking to someone else, but Gary Owen is in earshot. And I'm talking to this guy, and I said, oh, I actually hosted here a couple weeks ago. And then Gary Owen says, Eunice Elliott. He's saying my whole name. I'm like, well, yeah. You? yeah. you just now said you didn't never heard that name. He says, no, from Twitter, because that's my Twitter handle, at Eunice Elliott. Also, Facebook, at Eunice Elliott. Look me up, at me. So anyway, um, I thought, wow, that's the power of Twitter. This person that I don't know knows that he saw Eunice Elliott say she was hosting at Stardom. Okay, so a few months passed, and I run into him at a party for Super Bowl in Indianapolis. And I just went up to him, hey, I don't know if you remember me. I'm Eunice Elliott. Oh, yeah, hey, good to see you. All right, take care. Goodbye. All right, so... Gary Owen tweets, hey, heading to Atlanta to think like a man premiere. So I respond via Twitter. Because that's how he knows Because that's how I know him. Hey, um, are you performing anywhere in Atlanta while you're in town? So then I get a direct message from him with his phone number. And I'm like, hey, he's just hit me up. I'm like, okay. This is how the sex tape begins. I'm kidding. I'm playing. He's married. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. kidding. Okay, so I call him and he's like, hey, I get into town at 1.30. You know, do you want to go grab some lunch? I need to find something to wear for the premiere. And I'm like, okay. And I'm thinking, well, I wonder who he thinks I am. And at this point, because I remember we were chatting back and forth on Facebook. And and you're like, hey, I may be going to lunch with Gary Owen. I'm going to lunch with Gary Owen. That's cool. And you're like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is random. Okay, because I know like his tour manager lives in Atlanta. The whole cast of the movie is in Atlanta. I know he knows people in Atlanta. I don't know him like that. So I'm thinking, okay, that was just maybe he thinks I'm someone else or whatever. This is also another part of the story, but whatever. Um, so he lands and he calls. Hey, did you still want to go grab something to eat and go some wall? Okay, great. So I'm thinking, yeah. well, does he have a car? Because my car is not a car you would pick up people that don't know you in. Particularly on this day because <laughs> the air conditioner was out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember, you remember I told that, you the yeah. air conditioner was out? Okay, so I go pick him up. He gets in my car. And the whole time I'm thinking, I wonder how he thinks he knows me. Because this mm. seems kind of like a friendship that we don't have. So we went but to the it, mall. But it felt real. It felt real. We became friends that day. We were in the mall for like four or five hours. He called his wife 30 times about what she was wearing and what he was picking out. And we spent all this time in the mall. We went to lunch. Had a great time. He did not wear the outfit we picked out on the red carpet the next day. Whatever. But anyway, the more story was he was great in the movie. And he's my new best friend. But not so really. Have you, have you talked to him since? Yeah. You know what's weird? I think he didn't mean to be my friend. Because <laughs> I sent him a text saying, congrats on the movie. Loved it. He responded, thanks. Who is this? Right? And then I responded, Whoa. Eunice Elliott of Eunice Elliott fame. He never responded. <laughs> <laughs> so after I think he realizes he didn't mean to be my friend. So now. So it was an accidental so friendship. You unfriended. I think we're not friends life. now. It's weird, huh? After but he responded immediately when he didn't know who it was. And when I said, oh, it's me. It's Eunice. Your friend. That is so weird. And he never responded again. Okay. And you know what? When we're going to post the link to this, I'm going to say, at Gary Owen. Oh, I'm on Twitter and see if he ever <laughs> listens to this. <laughs> Shout out to Gary Owen. 
<laughs> I love that. So, so he and make sure he first. really never speaks to me. No, again. that's super cool. But he has a lot so. of really big stuff coming up. Like while we were together, he got the phone call that the pilot he's doing with Shaq got picked up. He's the host of Shaq's All Star Comedy Tour. I mean, he has a lot really going. So I'm really that's excited and proud cool. of him. And he was super funny in that movie. He was very funny in the very movie. Very funny. He was really good. My sister loved it. By yeah, the way. it was shout a really out to my little sister. Shout out, little sister. It was Ashley. really good though. And so speaking of comedians that I don't really know that I feel I have a history with, Ty Glass, who is at the Laughing Skull. He's at the Laughing Skull. Where we're recording at the, the Laughing Skull, Skull in the dungeon, in the dungeon, the dog bed, the sex dungeon. Did is that a dog bed or is that like a pillow? That's a dog bed. What do you mean a pillow for what? It looks like a part of a couch that someone threw Whose away. Whose couch looks like that? I've seen some. <laughs> that is a dog I've bed. Seen. Is it? Why would it be? It does. But, but it's a dog dogs bed. around here. You don't know what they do when we leave here. That is a dog bed. I have a dog and she has a day. A, a that bed. looks like that. She that. doesn't destroy it. No, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, she lays on it. It's her bed. So anyway, a couple months ago, uh, everything was a couple months ago. Before I moved to Atlanta, I came here to do uh, the open background. mic night. Tell, do people know where Eunice is from? It doesn't matter right now. It does, it's important. The open <laughs> I want people to know Eunice. I came here to do open mic. All right. I remember that. Okay. When you told and, me about it. I wasn't here. Right. And um and I did and Ty Glass was at the Laughing Skull that at that weekend as well. And he came by the open mic and he also did a set and it was great. He was funny, hilarious and all that good stuff. So I go up and I mean it was the night they had open mic. It was might have been seven hundred and thirty two people performing that night. I don't remember. It was Probably. a lot. It was a lot of people. It's a ton. And it was actually the night before I filmed my first national commercial. That's why I was the in Atlanta. Holiday the holiday express commercial. Bam people. Bam, there you go. You see how famous we really are? Yeah, no. I think it's we're in connection. No, it's happening. Ha yeah. So, Die Glass is there, and I do my set. And I did a joke about koala bears, and who's fucking the koala bears? Wait, is, can I curse? You just did. <laughs> <laughs> But you got to tell them the background. The background the is I bears. read a story on CNN.com about the koala bears and they're um, becoming extinct due to extreme heat and chlamydia. And that just brought the question <laughs> to my mind, who's who's screwing the koala bears? Ooh. So I did this whole set about the koala bears, who's screwing the koala bears. You know, as a single woman, I used to worry about my man coming home smelling like another woman's perfume. Now I'm like, hold up. I know that ain't eucalyptus. I'm about to fight. I just said eucalyptus. You better not them koalas. Right, so I did this whole thing about the koala bears. <laughs> like these deep scratches in your back. Yeah. This ain't from no woman. This yeah. is from them this koalas. From a koala. Okay, oh, so I do this cold koala bit. As soon as I get off stage, Todd Glass pulls me to the side. It's like, oh my God, that koala is, that's crazy. That is so funny. So I'm just like, so excited and like proud. Like, oh my God, he thought that was so funny. He's like, I have a part to add to it. Don't laugh if it's not funny. So now the pressure's on. Right, the so he says. So when you're saying, yeah. you know, I love the callback, and you're like, "Who's screwing the koalas?" You can say, "I'm screwing the koalas." Have you seen them? They're adorable. <laughs> and oh I was like, God, "I wish you would have said that." I said, "Well, you know, hilarious. that was funny, but it's not what it's I would say. Yeah. But it it's is something what, he would say." Yeah. And so then I was wondering, I wonder if he, because I, you know, would love to be a writer for other comedians, and so I kind of started following Todd Glass. <laughs> so you started to see talking like, Todd Glass. Yeah, to see if he would tell a koala, koala joke. joke. Not that it was my joke, because I don't tell that joke. It was an yeah. open article that anyone could have seen, and if he had that thought about so you were the hoping screwing the koala. Star. You were hoping he was going to tell. I was hoping he would tell the so joke. So you started to stalk him. So it's kind of a little connection. This is how you keep becoming So he said, and I might just people. hang out to get my $5 <laughs> hey. worth of parking and say, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm not fucking the koalas. Boop, screw, screwing Boop. the koalas. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so that's my Todd Glass story of that I don't know him, but we have a history. But you, And he's here tonight at the Laughing Skull. That's two different people back to back. And you know, that's what I do. I randomly meet people. I, well, that's what mm -hmm. everyone does, right? Yeah. Okay, but, but you know. But you, you meet people that you're... That, but, it's, but what's the interesting thing is that it's like you start a friendship, but you don't know what it but was I based on. I have no on. idea why we are friends. Yeah. yeah. Majority of the people that I guess people consider are famous that are my friends. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I know such really and know such. And I, then someone says, really well, how, how, how do you know, know him? him? And I say, well, you know, I'm not sure. I don't remember why we, I would know that. Because yeah. I'm, you know, nobody and all. No, for for now. I know, I know. We're actually it's pretty happening. famous. I'm pretty famous. What else? Did you had something. You had the, uh, um, uh, oh, oh, I brought the, um, Latest article, not later. Well, the latest issue. Of oh, people, world's most beautiful people, world's uh -huh. most beautiful women, mm -hmm. and who won? Beyonce. Who you won? know what? She's pretty gorgeous. She's pretty gorgeous. I mean, if you enter that beautiful thing, I mean, that ain't yeah. for everybody. Because the, the the world's most beautiful women issue is also known as the issue that makes regular people feel bad. Well, I didn't even buy it's, it yet. Let me see. Yeah. Um. So, do you feel Beyonce should have? 
No, you know what? I'm glad she won. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I mean, if there's anything to win. Um, no, I mean, I you get the cover. Get, get the cover. It's exciting. <clears throat> and I really think popping out a baby helps, too. Like, oh, she bounced back. She's uh, a baby. You know what? And she says she's in the gym five days a week. That is amazing because I'm not in there at all. Yeah. So that probably explains why she. But you know what? Well, that's the thing. I just started running. From who? Well, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right? Yeah. Like, well, you've been running? Dude, in the <laughs> gym. In the gym. Okay. Where do you go? Um, you know, I have a gym in my complex. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, and so I've, I've committed myself to run at least 30 minutes a day is where I'm starting because I hate running. But I um, my, my metabolism walking. stopped a few years ago. Okay. And, um, everything I eat has now just been deposited to random areas of my body, mm-hmm. primarily mm-hmm. my belly. And you know what? I saw right. this belly dancer at this event I went to last week, and she had, you know, most belly dancers have a belly. And I think that might be missing my calling because she had glitter on it. <laughs> well, there you go. Thought, okay. This is something I need to look into because can... she has it exposed and painted, and we we're all a... clapping for her. Maybe after we finish the podcast, we go get some glitter. And become belly dancers? I too have a... Yeah. yeah. Well, I just, you know what? It was like I was cleaning out my closet. And I had all these really cute clothes. And it was like shopping. And I was trying them on. And it was the same depression I get in a dressing room and a store of things, things that I don't fit. Own. But these are things I already own. <laughs> and so I thought, you know what? I would have a whole new wardrobe if I could fit these things again. And so I am committed myself to that. And also, you know, my goal ultimately is just to walk into a room and someone saying that she knows she needs to go put some clothes on. That's, that's, that's the that's my goal. I'm, that's great. Yeah. I actually, I mean, I, in my mind, I committed myself last week. I said, you know, what? I'm gonna start walking every day because well, I, I mean, just, don't you um, walk every day anyway? No, no, but I meant like <laughs> to somewhere. Okay, and, and back. And have and, you done that? No, I have not. <laughs> I haven't done anything. I'm, no, I mean, you know, I have. I don't have an excuse. I work from home. I have a gym in my facility. I have fifty thousand DVDs and workout programs, and I'm just to the point where mm. I'm about to turn another age. In a few weeks, and um, if I'm gonna be single and old, I might as well be single, hot and old. It's kind of my new thing. I'll let you know how it turns out. I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah, yeah. But I even uh, smell them cheeseburgers coming in here, and because I was serious. about to go upstairs and order one, I like the should. one that had the roasted red oh, peppers on man. it. Mm. Okay, but you know. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna commit ourselves to health, especially after seeing this woman who has had a baby. Isn't that worse when people who have babies are smaller than you because then you, you don't know really what? have a good excuse about the whole situation? Because I was talking to somebody the other day who um, his wife had a baby and he was like, she's already lost that baby weight. And I said, and meanwhile, I look like I have given birth. <laughs> well, and, I look and like I I'm pregnant with triplets. Right, right now. And, um, let's it's look all at good. Those are unrealistic well, standards. I'm, that's what I got upset about because he look at this. I mean, Oh, wow. She's beautiful. Look at how beautiful. Oh, gosh. Look at her as a baby. Oh, I mean. Yeah. Look at these pictures, and she's wearing lots of blue to oh, for her baby. Look and at it. Look at this. And she I mean, said really crazy. she said she's getting. Her. I mean, even after giving birth, look at that picture. Yeah. I don't even look like that at all, ever. In life, even with my eyebrows. I need to go, I need to go by that that issue. You done with it? Because then that'll uh, save me. I do have a couple of pages left, but you uh, can have well, it. Well, no, no, no. I'll, I'm going to go buy it, and that's going to uh, inspire uh, me while I'm running. Uh, uh-uh. no, you can. Uh, uh-uh. uh, you can have a couple of pages. Like, you're like, uh, uh-uh, I want to get it out of my possession. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to read um, just the last couple of pages, and um, no, you keep that because that's going to inspire you. And I'm going to go buy my very own double issue of People mm-hmm. Magazine. Well. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. I know it's been it's been two weeks. I think. Has it? Mm-hmm. So what else have you been performing? I have been performing. Okay. So um, let's see. Because I think when we spoke last, where was I supposed to be? I was somewhere. We had something coming up. Something like some two dollars or two drinks or two chains. Oh no, two six ways to Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that's yeah. where I was. Okay. That was the same day that my taxes were due. Right. So oh, I did y'all? Oh, that's what it was. Did you get your taxes done? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, and that was the problem. I had to actually switch my. I, I was supposed to close the show out. It was like Mia Jackson headline. Yeah, hey, of course. What else would you but, be doing? <clears throat> but of course, uh, because Mia Jackson doesn't like to um, do things sometimes in a. Oh when my gosh! Please let's not get to. started on that because you really are really bad about that. Right, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Uh, since when? Today I made a decision. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Just now. Okay. But uh, so I had to ask if I could switch my spot in the show. So I basically did a uh, my headlining time in the middle of the show so that I could go finish my taxes. Then you are so lame. I know. <laughs> But you know what? I'm rich as a result. <laughs> and that was important. You're rich. Because yeah. you did your own taxes and you're getting a lot of money back? Well, enough. I mean, Enough to do what? What do you do? You already have it spent? I, no, no, no. I have it. I just got it the other day. 
So I'm very excited. So are you, what I mean, what are you thinking you might do with it? Um, <clears throat> I was thinking I might finally update my website. Okay, that's a good investment. Thinking. Okay, so we've gonna, talked about that. Yeah. Uploading some clips. Ups, uploading some because I have clips up now. Right. They're just I just need some new ones. So okay. I was thinking about doing that and. Um, I've also been. What else have I done? I um, got your eyebrows done. Got my eyebrows done, which look amazing. They look great, by the way. I mean, yeah. I was. You have some shadow? A little bit, yeah. Because I, I said I was like, my eyebrows look fabulous, so I'm like, I might as well put a smidge of, <laughs> smidge of a shadow. I on see the it. I can fingers. see it. That looks really mm -hmm. good. And I got my mustache threaded Did as you? well. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh, I won't let them thread my mustache. I use cream on that. What kind of cream? That Sally Hansen hair remover. You just put it on there, and then you wait a few minutes, take a wet cotton swab, and it just and wipes it right works. off. Yes. Stop. So I'm gonna stop Girl, doing no, that. No, I can't have them snatching it off. I, I can I've gotten used. My eyebrow area is deadened to the pain of the thread, but mm -hmm. I would not there let them rip it out my lip. Yeah, because this hurt. I got I got a combination of threading and waxing, but now but see yeah, no. but, but after one day when I ate something, I ended up with a mm -hmm. thing here. So in your um, nose trough. <laughs> Because I never knew what to call that what area. Is that? Is I, don't, nose I don't know. What that about, little thing over yeah, the, 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 between your yeah, nose? Yeah, it's a nose trough, I think. I don't know. <laughs> like I don't know if that's that, a scientific yeah, name. No, I mean. like nose gutter trough. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, but so now I'm scarred as a result. So I'm yeah. going to go get some Mederma. No, I, I, always, I always use the Sally Hansen. But I'm talking about my scar now that I need to fade. Well, I only notice it when you point it out and say, hey, look oh. at my nose, nose trough. <laughs> my nose yeah, I didn't. Trough. I wouldn't have noticed it. If you <laughs> That's the that. worst and best phrase know. I've ever heard. <laughs> I don't know if anyone but, cares um, about that. But no, so so yeah. I, I think updating the website. What's the, what's, what is the website? Yeah. The website is MiaJackson.com. And so we can go there now and see you in your glory. Well, it's there, but I'm just saying I need to. I'm, I'm gonna, saying if someone heard uh, this, right? Yeah, so they can go see it as it, in its current state. Okay, but when okay. it becomes beautiful after I update it, right? But still, it's there. It's there. So I have UniceWorld.com that I need to update Cause severely because we're, we're talking about how Unis First is going to be Unisverse, the next, yeah, next might thing. be the thing. But right now, we need to update Unis World. For some reason, I can, I'm able to go in and see how many people have gone to my website hmm. and where they're from. I have a tremendous amount of people that go to my website from overseas. Like Denmark, Australia, China. So this is from Google Analytics. Is that what you have on your site? Um, no, it's a Vista, it's Vista Print, and they can show me oh. where where people are clicking from. And for so some reason, over half of my demographic <laughs> they're all from speak a the English. <laughs> So and I don't know if I'm like favorite. I might be pretty famous over in Europe. You are famous in Europe because I'm like. Run? I mean, it got to the point where I put on my web page on the front page. Hey, if you're from another country, drop me a note and let me know why. <laughs> <laughs> why do you know me? Why do you know me? That's why are you on my page? Amazing. Yeah, I get a lot of hits from Beverly Hills, of course, Atlanta, um, but mostly overseas. Most and I, and I'm always so curious who is going to this old website Somebody. that I never update. Somebody's going and they're enjoying and liking what they see. I think apparently. so. Apparently, so I think so. So I think I'm going to try to do a better <clears throat> job because obviously it's getting some hits and I need to figure out why. Or get some shows over in Denmark where you clearly you know what I won't even go to Douglasville. What if you're so <laughs> I'm trying to figure out why you would never go to Denmark? What if you're like a huge star in Denmark? Wouldn't that be crazy? And I don't even know it. I mean, I have like I mean, like hundreds of people. Like hundreds, more so than my hometown, <laughs> have gone to my website. So more people in Denmark than in Birmingham. It's weird, right? Go to. But I actually was in Birmingham all weekend, and it was weird because I saw a couple of my classmates, and I have several commercials airing in that in region. I know Faulkner University, right? And so people regions, right? So people think Keep that out. I'm on TV. They think that they know me or that I'm famous, right? And so they're talking to me and. Uh, there's some guy, and especially with Facebook, this guy was like, man, your dog has a better life than me. And I'm like, what? He's like, your dog went to Indianapolis for the Super Bowl. And I'm like, wow, that's so why you, weird. Why are you even saying that, sir? Yeah. And so people kind of... Is somebody you know? That somebody went to high school with. Who doesn't even know you that well. No, not that well. But he did, he did say he's very proud of me, and he talks about me like we talk every day. And I appreciated that, because he bought all my drinks. Well. <laughs> so therefore, he is a great American. Shout out, Bino, if you're listening. <laughs> But you heard how she just said she didn't even know you, though. Well, I told him, he know that. You know, when he saw me, he was like, you were in the academic classes. I was in general education. So he knows. I mean, we didn't have that type of history. We would cut up in class. You just say he was in general. Yeah, and that's what I wrote on his business. Facebook page. Look, I put on his Facebook page so because he says he claims me all the time. I said, thanks. I had a great time with you with your general education self. I put on his Facebook that hurt, page. That's hurt to me, and I was in the What's that? He knows who he is. He was grown in high school. He will oh yeah. One so of he those. yeah he knew who he's he probably was. driving when y'all like eighth ninth grade. Right mm -hmm. yeah he would he would drive to middle school graduation. <laughs> this probably he true. He was not riding to middle school graduation. I hope not. So I don't I'm want saying that yeah. To be true. <laughs> I'm just saying. So true. what do you have coming up this week, ma'am? 
Um, well, tonight, actually, um, I'll be at another club in town. I don't know really? if I'm allowed to say that. Really? You're performing but tonight? I am. Um, you are so lame. You never tell me where I've you're I've been performing. posting it on Facebook. Have you? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just don't go to your page. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to write it upside down. <laughs> I see. I mean, okay. What does that uh, say? <laughs> okay. So I'll be there. And then uh, Tuesday. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm doing the storyteller show at um uh, at the Relapse Atlantic Station. Oh, cool! So you do like you, you do like a ten minute story, so it's not just strict stand up. Yeah, just tell a, I will be there. Tell a story, so come hang out. Okay, yeah. cool. I haven't been to that theater yet. Me either. So that's what's um. This, what's going on with you this week? I'm yeah. kind of chilling this week. I think I might do Carlos's show right on Thursday. You are gonna. Actually, oh, I mean, I yeah, am he, doing. He's already. Yeah, he, he sent a text and said, "Talk to you." Okay, and I said, I'll I'm talk doing to his her. show on Thursday. So that's 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 actually a, a buddy of mine, um, Carlos Anthony. Mm -hmm. He just started a show at Sweetwater Bar and Grill over in Duluth, and okay. so um, the first show was actually. This yeah, past Thursday. Go? It was good. Yeah, it was good. I was so out of town. I hate I missed yeah. that. Yeah, Carlos hosted it. It was um me and Ryan Evans. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Ryan Evans. What's I up, just Ryan with Evans? Him this weekend and um Asian Steve and Joel Byers. Oh, cool. So we all did the show. I think I might have a crush on Ryan. Did I tell you that? He's gonna know now. <laughs> Ryan, do you know that? <laughs> Right, not like you. Know, I don't even know him, that but you way. know, but he's adorable. Yeah, though. something he, about his, him. His spirit is so pure. It is. The, it was yeah. just something about him. Yeah. I, I think about him often when I should. He, he's <laughs> like now. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, like right now. So, so that's all I'm doing this. So week. that's been out in the streets now that you have. A I, if anyone <laughs> listens, this is a test to see if anyone even listens. Anybody so I'm just listen. mentioning people so I can <laughs> see if put out a mention on Twitter and see if they click on it. So we're going to mention Gary Owen on Twitter, Ryan Evans. Todd Glass. Todd Glass. Who else? Uh, Carlos Anthony. Carlos Anthony. Joel Byers. Joel Byers. Asian Steve. All of, we're going we're gonna to add all of them and see if they listen and to And maybe this. the people from Fairfield Glade, Tennessee, if they listen. <laughs> they don't have Twitter in <laughs> Fairfield Earl Glade, Tennessee. Might. He, Earl has Twitter. He might. People want to know what the first black man in the NBA is up I'm to. Gonna, I'm going to vote no on that. He does have a Wikipedia page. That's how I found out he was 82 years old. I've been working on mine. Do you, have you published it? No, or? not yet. I haven't, just, I haven't accomplished all the things I want to accomplish okay. before. But anybody can just, you know, write your own Wikipedia entry. I know. So okay. I've been working on it for a while. But it, I think that's our time, isn't it? I think that's our time. We um, thank you for coming out. And um, so who, who are you thanking? Me? Or who are you? The people. <laughs> Who's here? <laughs> the people. Like, who are you, the who people are you thanking we don't for coming even. out? Thank the you people, for coming out. The people we don't I mean, know. Come on. But yeah, so, so listen, people. Um, this we're gonna podcast. try to we're gonna try to keep this up regularly. We're gonna come every Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday around this time. But you can click and listen to it At all any the time. time. Isn't that something? Because whenever you want to hear the voices of two adorable women, just adorable. You know what? We're pretty. Cute. We are. We are. Yeah. If my hair was combed, it would be even. I'd yeah. be even cuter right now. Yeah. Look at me in this little webcam. You know, you wear that headband, you got that LeBron thing going. You know how LeBron James it's wears a headband and cover up his receding hairline? But I don't have a receding You know how you have on this little bit of headband like that covers your hair? It does not hide it's still a thing. You can see that it's not combed. You can see but it's not combed. what does the comb. headband do? It doesn't do anything. It's going to make me feel better about my situation. Like all you boys. So I need to go see my um my um stylist. Another shout out. Would Another you? shout out. Um, His name... Is Albert Whitehead, I think, or is it oh, Albert I White? I forget. No, <laughs> no, 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 I like Kendall. What, why am I forgetting my? I, I thought we were saying goodbye. Well, I do want to give a shout out to him because I think. Well, he's you don't great. even remember his name. So he don't no, I like do him. remember his name. He's not going to do your hair for free. So no, shout I, out to no, the person I, that doesn't do me his hair regularly. No, he does <laughs> do my hair. I just what about the time I did your hair? It was pretty stellar. It was, it was stunning, actually. That was the night when and Houston passed away. And not to bring up sadness, you but, but you did. But I did. No, Albert. That's his name. I love Albert. He. Oh wait, yeah, wait. Albert. I had to say, Albert. Yes, that's his name. I love Albert. See how that didn't no. go together? Is, but he goes. But by, did you see how that didn't go together? Style and swag. So that's what you call him. No, that's, that's what my he, point. That's part of one of his names. Okay, like I'm, I'm going to just say goodbye. He does my, if you look at my Facebook picture, I look amazing because he did my hair. I'm going to stop picture. talking now. I think we're but I just didn't want to have his last name wrong. I'm a terrible person. I'm done. I know his last name. I had name. fun. I'll holler at y'all next week. Me is just going to keep talking about random things. Bye, y'all. We'll see you next week. Between me. Do you think, you think Jamie's you. still out there? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Jamie left hours ago.
But uh, are we start? Have we start recording? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs>